And the flooding hits home for some familiar faces. Country music stars Chris Stapleton and Tyler Childers are back home helping victims. And actress Rebecca Gayhart is also lending a hand. The Knott County native talked to LEX 18's Nancy Cox about how she's giving back to the place she calls home. Rebecca Gayhart left Kentucky in her teens to pursue modeling, then acting, landing a role on Beverly Hills 90210. She's made a very full and busy life in L.A., but much of her heart is back in Knott County, Kentucky. First of all, my family lives there, my immediate family, my mother, my father, my siblings, my aunts, my millions of cousins. Um, these are the people that I grew up with. I was raised there. I take my girls back to visit their family every year. We spend part of our summer there. In fact, Rebecca and her daughters were in Knott County just three days before storms hit and had just spent time at Heinemann swimming pool. I have these beautiful pictures of all the kids swimming in the pool under this little water fountain thing. And um, they saw photos of what it looks like now and it's gone and there's a building inside the pool, mm. um, that had fallen collapsed inside of the swimming pool. So they're I think they're confused, like they're trying to figure out how this could happen so quickly. Rebecca has been in touch with Sean Penn's disaster relief effort, Core Response, which she says is already in action. I know that yesterday they were on the ground. They were delivering basic uh, needs like items, food, uh, supplies to families in ISIM in Hymond, um, in Car Creek, in Pine Top. Rebecca has heard firsthand accounts from Penn's organization working directly with flood victims. No one wants to take these items. They want to give it to their neighbor. <laughs> she said they're also stoic. And she said, but, you know, these people have nothing, but they, they want me to go give it to someone else. Seeing the news coverage and hearing from family, Rebecca felt compelled to do something. She teamed up with a childhood friend who also lives in L.A. to start their own fundraiser. Our families are still there and we're just feeling so helpless. The only thing we could come up with was to start a GoFundMe to try to raise some money that could go towards helping people rebuild their lives. We've heard a lot about mountain pride the last few days, and Rebecca says there's a lot more to learn about the place that still feels like home. People don't realize how strong that community is and also how much talent is there um, and how uh, kind these people are. So she's asking for kindness in return.